we were. There here, we are. Here we is, where Eric. <laughs> here we are. Is <laughs> is was. That's right. Um, so we are back here, bonus episode, and I got a message from a follower, uh, that steam fitter guy, um, uh, right on apprentice out of Southeast Wisconsin, I believe is what he said. I don't actually know his name because, well, he never told me and it's not on his profile. So <laughs> we're going to go with that, <laughs> that steam, steam fitter guy. That steam fitter guy. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Um, so he asked me the other day, um, what, Where's a good place to get education? You know, you, we got to have a list. Like, like, where do you get training? Where do you where do you go to to get information? And and of course, I plugged him. You know, the, you just go to mechanicalhub.com, and that's where you get all the good well, information. There you, go. uh, you can find all kinds of routes to get yeah. good training from there from the manufacturers. Sure, <laughs> mechanicalhub.com. There you go. Shameless well, plug. You, like like memorable yeah. trainings that we've attended, or you know, we looking at HVAC, plumbing, general. You know, just. Just anything, anything at all. And in his his industry, it sounds like he's, according to his profile, he is uh, HVAC and more on the H side of it. So heating, okay. uh, the heating side, it sounds like some forced air stuff and some hydronics and clearly some steam guys, some steam stuff. So yeah, that's that's kind of the direction I was leaning with it. And. I think the, the where the gist of it is is that he had said, he had mentioned that he had just taken a um, a boiler class at I'd sound like probably at a at a supply house and sure. he went and spent half a day there probably got a lunch out of it and you know maybe a couple of pastries or something and um, yeah ended up getting your a, typical lunch and learn yeah got some flyers and as you know a slicky of you know brand X's newest latest greatest boiler and this is why you should buy it and um. How awesome it is. Yeah, the reps doing their job. They're yeah. out there trying to pound the pavement, create awareness, yeah. sell some product. Exactly. So his yeah. question was, where do where do we find information? Where do we find training? You know, what what kind of things? And I I thought back and I went, you know, I feel like a total slacker here lately. Um because I don't, I, in my mind, I say, well, I'm not doing, I'm not doing the amount of learning I did 10 years ago. Yep. And absolutely. And I, and I would say, yes, that's true. However, I, I find myself still pulling up uh, manuals and things like that as I'm, as I'm creating a project or building a, a bid or a proposal I'm reading a manual. I'm looking at something. I'm I'm scratching my head, going, "Well, is there a better way to do this?" And some of that's maybe a little bit more of uh, on my end, I guess, maybe an advanced learning tactic. You know, like how do you how do you put these couple things together, and can I figure it out without calling someone? Yeah, I'd say you're just kind of supplementing your existing yeah. knowledge of a subject on that. You're not necessarily like going to learn different methods or something. Right. Usually it's just a survival mode, you know, in a sense, like logistically, are we going to be able to pull this off and how long is it going to take? And here's why I need yeah. to know the answers to those questions. Cause we got to figure out how to do this particular install or this repair. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's that obviously that's the kind of knowledge you have to build on all the time, but like going to a training, like those lunch and learns are tough in my opinion. Um, because, I've done enough of them where I feel like I'm just going to hear a sales pitch. Yeah. And I just yeah. took two, three hours, drove across town. I could be at a job, that kind of thing. Right. I mean, there's it's a necessary evil in some cases because you do have to see product for the first time. Maybe it's a the only time you're actually going to get to touch and feel it. You know yeah. what I mean? That sounds dirty <laughs> touch and feel it but no. like no like that new uh that new appliance that new furnace that new boiler that new whatever it is like they're going to have it there yeah and looking at it on the computer screen just isn't the same no no i, I mean you, you think about that I, I think the first time i saw a uh one of these the new taco 006 e was at, yeah. at a lunch and learn that thing, yeah. you know, they were serving up some hot dogs or some burgers and they had, you know, my take, local Taco residential rep had, the, you know, the product offering. And I was like, oh, what's that? You know, it, and it was cool. It was, it was neat to see that because that was the first time I realized that it doesn't come with unions in the box, right? You yeah. have to provide that, which is fine. Right. But if you didn't know that you'd bought the circulator and said, oh, hey, I got this circulator. We're going to go install it and go, oh, well, I only have half of it to install. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, these are some weird connections. <laughs> right. Yeah. These don't fit anything I have. Right. Um, yeah, no, that's a, that's useful information. It's c- kind of crazy uh, that you said this, like, so uh, that you brought this up. I think you and I have attended some factory trainings over the years. Yeah. Uh, where we've got on a plane, traveled across country, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, we could easily plug a couple that, I mean, what, give me two of those that you like, or give me one, give me one solid one that you would say anybody like looking to, you know, build on some knowledge and what, what industry would it be? Well, so in the hydronics industry would be my, my, my go-to, um, that's, to me, that's the most interesting industry that I work in. Uh, yeah, we dabble in some HVAC stuff, some air side stuff. Um, I've never, I've, and I don't want to say that I've never been into it um, where I'm not interested in it because that's totally not not true. I am the most comfortable in hydronics. And yeah. and that's that's the one field where I am I'm comfortable talking about. I'm comfortable, you know, like I, I'm confident in it. And so on that side of it, I would say that um, probably my the most memorable and the most used information I got was came from probably from John Barba and his time at Taco, um, doing the the Taco training side of things, and and I say that and and not to take a, you know take away from you know what Dave's done and and Rick have done there, um, all three of those guys are top notch um, trainers and knowledge spreaders, if you will. And, sure. and willing to, always willing to talk about it. So I, I would, anybody that's looking for it, I would totally recommend diving out that direction. You know, reach out to those guys on social media, go through their stuff that's on their website. I wish that it was more upfront on their website. So if the uh, take a website designer and the PR team is listening, um, put that icon back on the front page. Um, because that, that take a <laughs> flow pro university, um, I don't even know if they call it that still, but yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I think they do. There, there's some, a phenomenal wealth of information that is like the bare bones roots of hydronics. And those are the, those are the couple of courses that when you and I were really diving into this 10, 12 years ago, like, like, and I say you, I, when I met you 10 or 12 years ago, yeah. that was where we were at. That was where I was at in my career was in this like ultra mega learning phase of like yeah, really, too. really understanding yep. this stuff. Yeah. And so that's, that's where I got it. It's a big, it's a big deal though, to get on a plane, travel across country, take off work, all yeah. that kind of stuff. And, um, although I, I find it useful, I did recently, um, last fall, I went over to Wiesman to their um, headquarters here in North America in Rhode Island where they have a training facility. Right. And, um, or headquarters in the U S I guess it's probably more appropriate. Uh, I enjoyed that training because it was more hands-on. There's new product, there's old product. We get the, you know, a lot of uh, banter, a lot of back and forth conversations with the other attendees, with the trainer, that kind of thing. I think that that's useful. Uh, but I, I make the point strong, strongly try to bring this up, this, uh, travel kind of stuff. I think that that is, um, if you can take the time off and if you can handle, there's usually some expenses involved in that. If you can do that, I recommend it because of that, um, being able to help kind of steer the course a little bit, even with what you get out of it, because you get to talk with other people. So that that can be super useful over and above what you might be able to find on your own if you're doing like online or reading. But that's what I want to bring up. So you brought up like Taiko. I agree. They do an awesome job. I know Mitsubishi's got some good classes if you're looking at, uh, you know, VRF and heat pumps and stuff like that. Not that other manufacturers don't. It's not a plug specifically for Taiko or Mitsubishi. Um, Kalefi. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've been long, t- we've been long time fans of their products. Uh, I know you've brought some of those in and your own business. I've been using them for years myself. Uh, I'd be silly not to bring up that I've been to their Italy factories, but I'm not 
not because of that do I plug what I'm going to say now is they've got probably one of the coolest resources in the industry and they call it their hydronics manuals. Yep. And I say coolest because uh, they're the filler when you aren't going to get on a plane and go sit in a class or you're not going to get on your computer right. and, and attend a webinar or something like that. These are printed manuals or you can download them and, and have them with you on your devices and they're illustrated and they're scientific and they're, you know, there's math and there's, there's real number stuff, not just a, and none of it, in my opinion, is a sales of their products. Although their products are included all the time. They give, you know, benefits, you know, Hey, this, we do make this product. It does this thing we're talking about, you know? Right. But, um, that's, I think that those hydronics manuals are totally worth looking into. So there's an alternative to getting on a plane and, you know, flying across the country kind of deal, taking time off work. And that's not to say that there aren't just a ton of those opportunities. Right. You know, manufacturers of these appliances are doing it all over the place. You know, just think of your major manufacturers, look on their websites, look for resources for training and see if they have those factory trainings. Yeah. Well, and I, I, yeah, I mean, you hit a good point there. I mean, a lot of that stuff is there. It's available every, I would say every, there, there are going to be very few manufacturers that don't, but basically every manufacturer is going to have some sort of a training department and yep. their interest is in training technicians to be the best they can be, right? Because if you're comfortable doing the install, you're comfortable being uh, or installing their product, then they're gonna they're gonna sell more. I mean that's that's the root of this. And yeah. if if there is more of the industry out there, then there's there's more to go around for everybody that's involved. And um, I yeah I just I guess you, you're right there, and and you you kind of uh, keyed in on that with it's important to look outside of local. Um, yeah. there's good local training. If you're, Absolutely. if you're in, you know, check in with your rep agency, you know, anybody that's out there working, you know, just, just think about this, that it's not like going to the grocery store or, or treat it like it's not going to the grocery store when you go get material. You know, if you're walking into the supply house and you're, and you're trying to figure out like, who's, 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 you know, I got, I, I'm going to go in and I'm going to buy this Taco circulator. Who's my rep? Who's, who's the rep that does this? So yeah, there's a salesman behind the counter. That company that you're buying that from largely is not the person that provided it or brought it to your local area. Um, there's a sales rep typically involved. That sales rep is your first line of, of communication support. support to the manufacturer. And some of that's changed. Um, you know, 20 years ago, the sales rep sales rep's job was was crucial in that because the manufacturer did not have an online presence. They didn't have right. a crew of people in-house that were doing support. Some of them did, but largely it was engineers and and salespeople, you know. So they weren't they weren't uh designed or they weren't uh structured to handle an influx of, hey, this uh installer from you know is an apprentice and he wants to know this. You know, that wasn't what they were there for. And and so the reason why I say that is my years of, of knowing who my reps are have been the way that I've opened doors to get to trainings like Taco or trainings like Lock and Var or, you know, some of these other uh, manufacturers that have an on-site training. And sometimes they'll be like, hey, you know, you interested in going to this? You know, you've asked about it a couple of times. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm interested. And then they might yep. foot the bill or they might say, well, get down there. We'll take care of the hotel in the, tra in the class, you know? Yeah. It, well, you bring up reps and I actually, yesterday is the total coincidence. Uh, my, my rep for, you know, he's my Upinor rep there. They do Apollo fittings, both copper pre and, you know, iron pipe press. They do, they're the ream rep for water heaters. They're, uh, they do ECW and they do, you know, Viesman, uh, Ray Pack. You know, I can go on and on, right? Yeah. Um, they built a new facility for them, for their offices. And in that, they they invested a ton of money on a second floor to this facility. 
outside of their warehouse yeah. and everything just for training. And so they've got live fire and everything that's, you know, heating their building, doing their snow melt, all that kind of stuff. And so I, I, I just want to go take a look at it. My buddy, Jay Bars, who listens to the podcast, he's my rep for that. I lean on a ton for uh, knowledge and help and, and that first line of defense or, or communication or whatever for like my boilers and stuff. Um, went over, shot some video. It's really cool. It's all coincidence that we're talking about this today, but I, the local stuff is uh, worth looking into. Like you said, yeah. get to know your rep. Honestly, I can remember starting out as a young contractor. I kind of was like, I would walk around and people would ask me like, well, who's your rep? And they're like, I don't know. I don't need reps. And I think, <laughs> I think back to that. And I'm like, what an idiot, what an idiot I was that I didn't, know my reps and that I didn't get to know these people because yes, they actually believe it or not are there to sell product, but they're there to assist you with the product. Uh, especially when you have trouble with it, because you're going to have trouble with this or that you're just not, you know, especially a lot of that trouble comes down to inexperience. Yeah. And they're there to help you build on that experience, help you be successful. Um, and then they'll let you know about the factory training and stuff like that. Like you said, they might get you there. Right. Pay for it. That That's huge. Like, yeah, it is huge. It is huge. No, it's a great topic, man. I, I'm glad we talked about it today. I I agree. There's a lot of uh resources. To me, people send me that those messages too. And I a lot of times my reply to that message that overall, like, how do I find like I get a lot of times, how do I find out about hydronics? Like yep. specifically, because they see me doing the boilers and stuff like that. And I mean, out of that, you know, what do I got? 6,000 posts on Instagram and like a, a big majority of them are related to hydronics. Right. Um, You got to start at these, you know, look at the components you're installing that your company buys, whatever. Look at the, look, what are the brands? Yep. And then go to the website. And if you really want to know, uh, it is worthwhile asking other people. I, I'm not saying don't do that. Don't ask me. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Right. I'm saying, you know, you can, you, you, you're just don't ignore the fact that you could get on your phone real quick, probably hit the uh, website for one or two manufacturers of a product that you are installing on a regular basis. And I bet you, like you said, Andy, on their website now, they've got training listed. They've yeah. got factory training or they've got, hey, our, our trainer is going to be in this town on this, you know, there's a calendar. Right. Like that's, you know, that's where you start to be honest with you. Yeah. Find out, ask some questions, go to the first one. They're going to tell you about this big one they do every year. You know, don't miss this one. This is, you know, that's how you get started on yeah. this stuff. Yeah. Honestly. It, it is. And I was, <clears throat> it's been a little while since I'd been on the Takeo website and it was interesting. So when this uh, steam fitter guy re- asked me about it, I was like, I'll get him a link. And I went on there and I logged on and I was, I was scrolling around and I'm like, oh, I remember. And that <laughs> there's, there's uh, a couple of weeks worth of, you know, evening, you know, learning. And, and that's where I would say, if you, if you're looking to try and get into this or you're really trying to look, looking to broaden your knowledge of it, take, take a, 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 an hour a night or an hour a week, whatever, whatever you can devote to it. Yep. And and find a course. Um, Takeo's course is great. You can do the same thing with the Kalefi Hydronics. You could sit down and read an episode every other day, day or whatever, or every at once a week. And yep. those are the places where if you just go into it and go, okay, I'm gonna, I am going to take, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the opportunity to read this. And at the same time as you're taking the opportunity to read this, remember that what it is that you already know may in fact not be correct. Oh yeah, sure. And yeah, oh, that's a whole sub I think that's a whole episode <laughs> in itself. Be, because hey, you don't know everything and uh right. maybe some training will teach you that. Right. And <laughs> and the reason why I say that is cuz I remember uh, there's there's been a couple of key things that you know you pick up on you're like holy crap, I've been doing it wrong for a long time. Be willing yeah. to make that assumption. Right. Be, make that connection. If you're doing something wrong. Okay. Hey, first, eh, whatever. That's what that well, it is, what it is. We're, we're past that. Yeah. Um, figure out how to go fix it and don't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, don't do it anymore. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But, well, cool, man. 
That's a good bonus. Yeah. There we have it. Right on, brother. So take it easy. All right. You too. See you.